Hey everyone, welcome to this full step-by-step -step guide where I'll show you how to set up TensorFlow with GPU support on Windows 10 or 11 the right way. If you're into machine learning, deep learning, or AI projects, using your NVIDIA GPU will massively speed up model training. In this video, we'll cover installing Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, setting up Miniconda, creating a Python environment, installing CUDA and CDNN, installing TensorFlow GPU, fixing NumPy version issues, adding common ML libraries, and finally, testing if TensorFlow detects your GPU. Let's get started. Before we continue, just a quick note. All the download links and terminal commands used in this video are organized neatly in a text document, which you can find linked in the video description below. All right, before we start installing anything, Let's quickly check if Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable and Miniconda are already installed in your system. Here's how you do it. It's super simple. Click the Start button on your desktop. Now search for Control Panel. Open it. Inside Control Panel, go to the section called Programs. Then click on Uninstall a Program. This will open a list of all the software installed on your computer. Now scroll through the list and look for two things. One or more versions of Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable and Miniconda 3. In my case, I already have Microsoft Visual C++ pre-installed, so we're good on that. But I don't see Miniconda, which means we'll need to install it manually. If you don't see Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable in your system, don't worry. I've included the download link for the latest version in the text document. Just head to the video description, open that document, and copy-paste the link into your browser. Scroll to the section, Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. If your system is 64-bit, which it probably is, download. vc underscore x 64exe as I have already downloaded Microsoft Visual C++ to save our time. Now we need to download Miniconda. Refer the text document and copy the link and paste it in your browser. On loading next page click on download button under Miniconda installers section and download it. As I have already downloaded it, now flow the steps for installation. Move to your downloaded folder. Click on the installed of Microsoft Visual C++. Run the installer. Accept the license agreement and click Install. If it says Repair or Modify, just go ahead, it's safe to continue. This will install required DLL files that TensorFlow needs to communicate with your GPU. Move to your download folder. Click on the installer of Miniconda and follow the steps as I do.
Alright, now that Mini Conde is installed, let's move on to the next step. Creating your Python environment and setting everything up for TensorFlow GPU. First, click the Start button on your desktop. And search for Anaconda Prompt, you'll see a black terminal window icon pop up. Just click to open it. This is where we'll run all our environment setup commands. Now, to avoid any mistakes, I've listed all the commands clearly in the text document under Step 3. You'll find the document linked in the video description below. I will be fast forwarding the video to reduce the time. Depending no you internet speed and processing power the processes will get completed. After installing TensorFlow, if you try to run the test command, Python C import TensorFlow as tf, print, tf.reduce underscore sum, tf.random.normal, thousand, thousand. You might see a number py compatibility error. The error says something like, a module that was compiled using number py version 1.x cannot be run in number py version 2.0.2 it may crash. This happens because TensorFlow version 2.10, which we just installed, was built to work with NumberPy version 1.x. But the latest version, NumberPy version 2.0.2, is installed by default. No worries, we can fix it in just a few simple steps. First, let's confirm the version of NumberPy you have. In Anaconda prompt, type pip show numpy. If it shows version 2.0.2, .2, that's the problem. Now we'll remove the incompatible version. 
Run pip uninstall numpy. When prompted, type Y and press enter. Next, we install a version that works with TensorFlow 2.10. Run this command, pip install numpy2. This installs the latest version of number py1.x, which is fully compatible. Once that's done, confirm the new version type this in your terminal, pip show numpy. You should now see version 1.26.4 or something similar, that's perfect. Now, let's rerun the test command to make sure TensorFlow is working properly. Python C import TensorFlow as tf, print, tf.reduce underscore sum, tf.random.normal, thousand, thousand. Now run this command in your terminal, Python C import TensorFlow as tf, print, tf.config.list underscore physical underscore devices, GPU. If it returns something like physical device, GPU is zero. Boom. Your GPU is connected and TensorFlow is ready to fly. Now I will be installing all the required machine learning and deep learning libraries. I will be fast forwarding the processes to reduce time.
All right. Now that TensorFlow and GPU support are properly installed and working, it's time to start using that GPU power for real deep learning tasks. Let's begin by creating a dedicated workspace to keep all your notebooks organized. First, open your D drive and create a new folder. Right-click anywhere in the D drive, select new folder and name it exactly as my underscore notebook. This will be your personal workspace where all your machine learning and deep learning projects will live. Now, go ahead and open Anaconda prompt from the start menu. Inside the Anaconda prompt, type the following to switch to your new directory. D colon and then press enter. Then type CD my underscore notebook press enter. Next, activate the environment we created earlier, the one named TF. You should now see TF at the beginning of your command line, which means your TensorFlow environment is active and ready to go. Finally, start your notebook interface by typing Jupyter Notebook. This will launch Jupyter Notebook in your default browser, right inside your my underscore notebook folder. From here, you can create new Python notebooks, write deep learning code, and most importantly, train your models using the power of your GPU. You're now fully set up and ready to begin your AI journey. And that's it. You successfully installed TensorFlow with GPU support on Windows using Miniconda. We started from scratch, installed Visual C++, set up Python, installed TensorFlow with the right CUDA and CUDNN, and validated everything. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more deep learning content, and comment below if you faced any issues. I'll try to help. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Keep coding. Keep learning.